Hi, I'm Crazy German Viper and in today's video we are going to take a look at the difference of salary between 1970 and 2024. So I'm going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison with the salary of my grandpa who is now 86 years old after he was 10 years in civil engineering because he's also like myself a civil engineer and i wanted to do this because probably everybody of you has seen this article already that gen z has 86 percent less purchasing power than their parents before them and you know i was first really skeptical of that then i read the article and then i was interested and i was actually talking to my grandpa about it and he actually gave me some numbers that we can work with to give you a really good side by side comparison and to see whether or not the numbers actually hold up so here we go just to give you a little historic context about my grandfather so my grandfather was born 1939 before the war started in germany and by the time the war ended, he was six years old. And if you ever meet my grandfather on a birthday party or somewhere, he's going to definitely tell you the story how he survived the war. Because basically when the war was in the last weeks, basically Germany declared total war and basically every person, every child was mobilized and they had to go to the front to fight for the Nazis. And my grandfather always says the only reason why he and his older brother that is two years older than him are still alive is because their father he was actually a doctor and a nurse that was living in their town she basically saw the kids roaming through the streets and you know making their way to the front and she basically you know took the kids by their lederhosen and she was like you're not going to go anywhere and she took them under her wing and you know that is the reason why they are still alive because russians swept through and the kids were then unharmed then you know when germany had to rebuild even if you were a child you had to work right away you know anything was bombed and there was work hand over fist and germany had a tremendous boom especially in the first couple of years in the first decade after the war and so there was work hand over fist and my grandfather he was passionate about construction about civil engineering and he wanted to take on more responsibility and since he was so passionate about it he was saying okay i'm going to go to university and study to become a civil engineer and so he did and even during his time in university he was basically working on construction to actually finance his university degree and my grandfather told me that once he completed his degree and he had a starting salary and he worked for the initial couple of years then he actually ended up in a senior position in a very big german company and uh, it was a pharmaceutical company and he worked there as a civil engineer because they really needed someone and he told me that his salary as a senior civil engineer was 10,000 D-Mark, which is Deutsche Mark, which is the currency in Germany at the time. And today in this video, I want to take some time to actually break this down to you, how much that would be actually in today's money. So let's do this. So I went ahead and I actually got the inflation data from 1960 to 2024 from Germany. I have the uh, XLS data here and I actually plotted them in reverse order here in Excel so that we are actually knowing what we're talking about. So, and we're just going to assume 1970, 10,000 mark, and we can calculate the inflation. It's relatively straightforward. And then the next year would be the actual amount plus the part that is due to the inflation and we can just expand this all the way down and then we will see here in 2022 basically if we wanted to have the same purchasing power as my grandfather with his senior civil engineering salary in germany today we would basically in today's money would need to earn 38,000 euros Yes, it is really that ridiculous of a number and and we are not considering yet even and we won't consider because I simply don't know how to consider it. We are not going to consider the change from the Deutsche Mark to the Euro, which happened when Germany and Europe basically came together to form the European Union. There is people that guesstimate or assume that basically when the Euro was adopted by Germany, that basically Germans lost half of their wealth right there. Um, and we're not even considering that, even if we just said and pretended that basically nothing happened or it would have been one to one, then basically in, you know, today's currency, we would need 38,000 euros in order to have the same purchasing power as my grandpa. The funny thing is like when my grandfather told me this and he was, you know, trying to explain me like how much money that actually was, 
he was telling me that just from one month's salary, he was able to purchase a brand new factory fresh Volkswagen Beetle. And I was thinking like, come on, grandpa, this is this is ridiculous. You know, this is just, you know, this is like your grandpa basically that, you know, fought against the Nazis. He killed Adolf Hitler and uh, entire Nazi Germany just by himself, just with bare hands. You know what your grandparents, all of this miracles that they have uh, achieved when they were young, you know. But if you actually look and compare the same amount and the same purchasing power in today's money, you will actually see, okay, with 38,000, you will be perfectly fine to just, you're not going to get like a luxury BMW or something, but you get at least a brand new factory car, you know, just a small car will be totally fine with 38,000 euros. It's absolutely ridiculous. And okay, now that we have looked at the numbers and seen that it actually sort of checks out and that these claims that young people today have actually a lot less purchasing powers than their parents before them, that it makes actually a lot of sense. What is your thoughts on the matter? What do you think? What do you believe? Do you think that there is a problem? Am I the only person that thinks that there is a problem and that there is something terribly going wrong? I don't know. For me, it, it's kind of weird and I can understand the frustration of all of the young people and I really can understand that, you know, when young people don't have this feeling that they can't make a living that they are getting frustrated and depressed and don't think that it's worth working for money anymore and so on and so forth. And when people that cannot relate to this and don't have the numbers available that are older and they're looking at this and just see that the younger people don't want to work anymore, I can also understand that these people are going to judge them and going to be like, hey, you know what, why aren't you working? You know, I worked when I was your age and so on and so forth. So I think it's kind of like a fucked situation. I think it's really important that people start to talk to each other again and really figure out how they can, you know, make things happen so that it's mutually beneficial, mutually benef beneficial, mutually beneficial. That's the word. And if this weren't happen and if people wouldn't do this, then I think the consequences could be rather catastrophic and it could lead to civil war, could lead to revolution. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Okay. So unfortunately, this is all I have for you today. If you've made it so far into the video, then thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it that you take the time of your days to watch my videos. It really means the world to me and I hope I will see you in the next one. So, goodbye.